Hello my juicy friends, how you can see I'm making a tutorial and I don't really like making tutorials because it's a lot of work and not the work that's really fun but I'm getting asked a lot how I learned this rewind trick or if I got some tips to achieve this kind of style which I'm doing so yeah i started flying about one year ago and there was no tutorial about how to fly juicy even now there are only tutorials how you can do a juicy flick and some other tricks but that's not how you progress a juicy style so i thought it's time to reveal the steps how i developed my juicy style to make it a little bit easier easier for you for every step i will make one video and tutorials are a lot of work as I said so if you liked it and it helped leave a like and a sub and now let's start with some important points first point is flying smooth this is not only important if you want to fly juicy in my opinion everything looks unprofessional and like you're not safe on the sticks if it's not smooth and because juiciness is all about style and looking good what you're doing it's not about hitting the smallest gap so it's even more important to fly smooth in general that's a part that will be often forgotten the most pilots start to fly learn trick by trick and then they think yeah now i can do all tricks i'm lit f that's what i was also thinking but then I noticed if I can't do all these tricks smooth it just looks bad and yeah. Don't use a stabilizer from your action cam uh, otherwise you will never know if you can fly smoothly by yourself and even more important a lot of juicy stuff doesn't look good if it's smoothed out from the stabilizer. Sharp turns, fakey tricks and rewinds. The next point are the spots where I think you can fly the most juiciest. In the most cases, a juicy style works the best on a tree spot and there's not much going on compared to a bando. On a bando, you're flying more like parkour, if you know what I mean. You're hitting small gaps, diving, and you need to be precise. On tree spots, it has to be like a dancing performance to look Good. My favorite spot is a short field in combination with some trees so you can really fly low to the ground. The next thing I want to talk about is tuning and rates. I won't tell you much about tuning because there are a lot of tutorials out there but I want to say you can fly perfectly smooth uh, but if your quad is not well tuned it doesn't look good either so in bit of light the less filtering you are using the better prop push handling you got but your motors need to handle it because otherwise they can burn uh, but watch some Joshua tutorials about tuning always an important part are the rates there is a difference between thumping and pinching or hybrid like I'm flying. With thumbs your rates don't have to be the that fast because you can easily use the whole range of your sticks. With pinging and hybrid it's a little bit harder to get to the total stick endpoints, so you need a little bit faster rates. You should be able to do fast rolls and a fast pitch but you should also be able to fly smooth and that's getting harder if you have too fast rates. If you want you can try my rates, they are on my website ydcam-life.com and if you think your quad is flying well, <coughs> stick to this setup, never change your rates again, don't fly different builds. You can only build a good muscle memory if you are always flying the same setup otherwise you will improve much slower and try to get much stick time consistently don't fly four days in a row and then stop for two weeks 
It's much better to fly every week once in this case. The more the better. But it needs to be consistently. That's the key. It's like you're building muscles in the gym. It only works if you stick to it. This was a little theory lesson. The first practice session we are starting with is how to fly smooth and that will be the next video. Stay tuned. I wish you a great day my friends. See you in the next video. Bye.